What's going on guys? It's here Eddie. Before I start, make sure to like and subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and also that thumbs up. Alright you guys, this video I am going to make step by step on how to make the second pecan cheesecake. So let's begin. I'm going to use the blender once again. Now I'm using the Philadelphia cheese. This is the ingredient that I used. Philadelphia cheese, eight ounces. The next ingredient that I'm gonna use, sweetened condensed milk. I have washed off the lid to have it clean. And it's got this little holder right here that I can lift up always making sure not to cut myself and then lift it up real carefully and you do the same thing when you use this that's what condensed milk looks like so I'm gonna pour it right in the blender Okay, then I'm going to use half of the lime and this will make the cheesecake not to break when it's cooking from the top. It might break, but this will prevent from breaking a lot. And I'm going to use one egg. I'm going to crack it. Just like that. The next thing is I'm gonna blend all the ingredients together. I'm going to turn on the oven so it can go ahead and start heating up and this will make the cheesecake bake faster. Before I turn it on, I have to make sure that, that the oven is clear of any dishes or anything inside as you can see everything's clear once everything is clear from the oven if you have anything in there there's a lot of people that do make sure when once everything's clear there's no dishes inside or anything then you can go ahead and close it back and go ahead and start your oven to preheat since i'm baking i'm going to go ahead and click on bake right on red it's 350 degrees but to move the temperature up i have to click this button right here i'm going to rise it up to 375 so three seven you can see the temperature move to 375 then I'm gonna go ahead and press start as you can see it changed now also as you can see the oven looks dark if you want to see what it from the outside you have to turn on the light. So you click right here where it says light. Now you can see the oven because of the light. This is from the outside only. Now once again, if you want to turn off the light, you just click on light and the oven light it's off. Now if you want to see from the inside, to see with light, you have to open up the oven and the light will turn on. 
and it's already heating up. And this is how you turn the oven on with this kind of stove. It's an LG, real nice stove. So as you can see also, it's preheating. And if, for instance, you want to turn it off, you can just go ahead and press clear and off. Or just press this button right here and it will automatically turn it off. Now this stove also has, you know, easy clean to clean the stove and you can also set up, you know, like the clock and the when you're cooking food or so have the timer everything else it's a real nice stove now going back to the ingredients now I'm going to blend or mix all the ingredients together for the second cheesecake so I'm going to go ahead and click on blend. The next thing is, I'm going to use this crust right here. I'm going to go ahead and take off the lid from this crust. And what I have to do is just lift it up all the way around. So that way when you pour the ingredients, the ingredients don't fall from the crust. It has a little bit of crumbs in there from the crust. Make sure that when you take off the, before you take off the lid, make sure that you don't break the crust because you don't want to do that. Make sure it's clear just like that, okay? Sometimes it doesn't have any crumbs or anything like that from the crust. It's supposed to be clear. But in this case, it has a little bit. It's okay. But make sure it's not the crust, it's not cracked. The lid, you don't want to throw away just in case you just want to cover the cheesecake up, you know, and refrigerate it. But once it comes out of the oven, once it's baked, don't put it in the refrigerator right away. Don't do that. Make sure you set it on your counter, or run on the table, make sure that you sit it on top of something, you wanna use one of these pads to, because it's gonna be real hot until it just cools off. Once it's cooled off, then you can go ahead and just leave it for a longer time, you can go ahead and eat it or go ahead and refrigerate it. Whenever the cheesecake is ready and you wanna take it out of the oven, Always make sure to use one of this to take the the cheesecake out because it's gonna be real hot. Then you wanna use one of these pads to sit the cheesecakes because they're gonna be real hot. Get the cheesecake out of the oven and you put it on top of glass when it's real hot, you don't wanna do that. You always wanna make sure that you use one of these pads that is real thick to sit it on or right on the kitchen counter. But always make sure that you use one of these right here. This is the, a glove that you can use to grab anything hot from the oven when you take it out. 
such as a cheesecake, and one of these patch or a bigger one. You can use something like this to sit anything hot. So let's pour the ingredients right on this crust. When you put it in the oven, make sure that you always grab it or hold it real tight and not to tilt it or anything like that. Go ahead and make sure that you grab it from the sides or from the bottom like this and go ahead and put it in the oven. Make sure not to burn your hands. You always wanna grab it and put it real carefully in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. And I'm not putting any pecans right on the top because I'm going to use this ingredient next, right after I get it out of the oven. But I'm gonna wait for a little bit. The ingredient that I'm gonna be putting right on the top of the cheesecake. And then once I put this on top, this calichera or this caramel, then I'm gonna go ahead and put this pecan right on the top. Let's go ahead and put both of the cheesecakes right in the oven. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and place the cheesecakes right in there. That's the way the cheesecakes look like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and check on it because I'm not sure how long it takes to bake. So I'm just gonna continue to check on it. So now I am going to check on the cheesecakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light on by clicking where it says light. And now you can see the light right inside the oven. And that's what the cheesecakes look like. And this is what the cheesecake looks like, or the cheesecakes. But this is what they look like right after 30 minutes. Now if you want the cheesecakes to cook a little bit faster, then you will have to, as you can see the temperature is 375, you can go to 400. But I haven't moved the temperature, it's right on 375. Now I'm just going to go ahead and close the door from the oven back up and that's what the cheesecakes look like from the outside. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light off and that's what the cheesecakes look like. I am going to get the rack out a little bit and I'm going to see if the cheesecakes are ready. Yep, this pecan cheesecake is ready. This one is ready too. If there's a lot of stuff right on the toothpick from the cheesecake, this means that it's not ready. But when there is barely anything, this means it's ready. See? 
I'm just gonna go ahead and let them cheesecake sit there for a little bit, not too long, to continue baking with the heat. I'm gonna set the pecan cheesecakes right on this rag. Look how nice this pecan cheesecake looks. Homemade straight from the oven. And look at this other cheesecake, homemade straight from the oven. This is the pecan cheesecake, and this is the regular cheesecake. Right on top of this cheesecake, I'm going to use another ingredient, like lechera, that's what it's called in Spanish. It's a caramel candy, and then I'm going to put on top of that caramel candy, pecans and I'm gonna show you that also but right now the cheesecakes are hot right in the middle it says believe So the next thing I'm going to do, I am going to use this ingredient, dulce de leche or lechera. I am going to put it right on top of this cheesecake. I'm going to open this up. Actually, I have to open it because this is brand new, as you can see. It's sealed. I just got it from the store Publix. So I'm gonna take the seal off. And I'm gonna open it. And then I am going to cover the whole top of this cheesecake. All the way around. Just gonna do it in circles. That's what it looks like, brown. This is candy. I'm going to pour a little bit more.
Now this is what it looks like. I am going to add pecans and place them right on the top. This is what it looks like, but I'm still going to add more pecans. It is called the Caramel Pecan Cheesecake. Or cheesecake with pecans and dulce de leche. And the other pecan cheesecake. This is what the pecan cheesecakes look like. Pecan cheesecake number one and pecan caramel cheesecake number two. Look so delicious. So this is what the cheesecakes look like with the lids on top. Remember the lids from the cheesecake when I took off the lids? Well, these are the lids from the cheesecakes. And all I had to do was cover them up just like this. And if you want to cover so the lids won't fall, all you have to do is just bend this aluminum foil so the lids won't fall. But this is the way you cover the cheesecakes with the lid. As you can see, little bubbles right on the top of this one because it's still hot. I just covered them up. This is the way it looks with lids. But if I wanna go ahead and uncover the cheesecake, I just take the lid off, just like that, and let them cool off. I just wanted to show you that and with, right after it cools down, the cheesecakes with lids and just put them in the refrigerator. So I just wanted to show you how it looked with the cover lids on top. Now that the cheesecakes are cooled off, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a slice of each cheesecake with pecans. Tastes good. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Real good. Delicious. This is just like the regular pecan cheesecake. Mmm. Real good. You want some? Mmm. So good. I'm gonna go ahead and try the other 
pecan with caramel. This one right here. Have to be moving the camera. This is what the cheesecake with caramel and pecan look like. Tastes good. Tastes real, real good. Mmm. Pecans are real good. I gotta get myself some water. Water is real good. So, it's healthier. So drink water. The cheesecakes are real good. Thumbs up. Well, this is it with the cheesecakes. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you enjoyed the video and saw value, make sure to like and subscribe by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.